Okay, so in this video I just wanted to show you some really neat things you can do with point data from circles. So what I mean by that is in, in the last few years they've come up with ways that you can access the individual points of circles uh, quite easily. So first thing I'll do is I'll just create an auto circle and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so there's my auto circle, uh, six hits. Um, so normally we would just hit create and there's our circle, but in recent years they've added this two points button. So this is one way we can access point data after we create the circle. So as you can see here we have individual points as well as a constructed circle all created just by the single, um, the single toggle switch there, two points. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to show you is I'll create a circle the normal way, but I won't do the two points. So that just gives me my circle four there. So what we can do now is we can actually access that point data for a couple things. We can do, say, a distance dimension. So if I pick circle four, you can see I actually have access to the points or the hits within circle four. So if I wanted to do a distance between those two points, I can. So you can see them there and it's actually shown in, in array brackets. So hit one and hit four in that case and that will create a distance. Another nice thing you can do with the point data is constructions. So I once had a student ask me, how can I create two different um, fit reports or fit measurements like a least squared or a max inscribed with only measuring the circle once. So the solution is to go to constructed circle. Um, let's find our circle there. So here's one. And then after the circle's created, we can either just pick the points like that, however many we want, and then we can switch the construction type to best fit and then change the fitting algorithm. So this would be the best fit max inscribed, which would be just a second measurement without actually physically probing the circle twice. And we'll just close that. Okay, so that's about it. I just wanted to show you uh, kind of a, a neat way to access point data within circles and to use those um, measured points to do two different reports, two different fit types. Okay, so that's it. Just a quick tip. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.